Happy Homebrew Wednesday, folks. Ryan here, drinking a Brewer's Best IPA. This is the one that I pigged and did not assemble the party pig uh, correctly. Um, I emailed party pig about forgetting to put the restrictor inside. They told me to hook up a 10-foot hose to the outside, and that should offer enough resistance so it doesn't just turn all the foam. That's not a good idea. It ended up making more mess than it ended up saving on foam. But it's lucky this beer pours pretty well, as you can see. Nice little head there. And it's a little bit on the cloud. Well, definitely on the cloudy side, but you'll get that with an IPA. Hmm. It's a good beer. So, I don't really have a whole lot going on. Um, I brewed this weekend uh, the Red Eye Pale Ale from my local homebrew shop. It's a, uh, it's a pale ale that's made with Maris Otter liquid malt extract. So that's cool. Um, has one ounce of pearl in the beginning and three ounces of centennial in the last 15 minutes at different times. What else do we have going on? Um, so the pale ale, it's ferment in a way. Um, doing its thing. Um, the 12 Z's, you know, the modified 11's is that I did. I should probably bottle that this weekend, um, but I'm thinking I might throw it into a secondary even though the directions don't say to for a week or so, just to let some of that yeast fall out a little bit. Um, I did do that with the speckled heifer, and the yeast that I use with that has caused a huge mess inside the beer. You know, it doesn't affect the flavor or anything, but it doesn't, it looks gross with the yeast just floating around in big chunks. So I think I'm going to just do a secondary for a week. Probably do, do good for the beer. Well, I think that's all I got for you this week, folks. So have a happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers.